Yo, what is going on boys and girls? Welcome back, Beaker here, and today we're gonna get on the Town Hall 9 account and get caught up with this new update that just dropped. So guys, this is a pretty cool update all across the board. This affects everybody from Town Hall 6 and up. We all got this new defense, which I just started building three minutes ago, Air Sweeper. So this is pretty cool. I mean, air troops are a big threat. Really, at Town Hall 9, you got everything coming at you though. You got hogs, uh, go wipe, and air troops, so you know, we're still going to have a lot to worry about, but this air sweeper will help against air troops. Guys, as far as placement of the air sweeper, I talked about it in my last video, but I'm going to say it again. I'm going to assume that the best placement for now is going to be on the opposite side of your archer queen facing the opposite way. So, you know, say the archer queen's facing this way. We're going to put that air sweeper somewhere up here and we're going to have it facing the opposite way of the archer queen. So, you know, that's so people can't take out both, you know. You don't want them taking out your air, uh, air sweeper and your arch queen. So, yeah, let's see how it goes, guys. You know, of course, we haven't seen it in action yet, but I'm really excited to see it. And I like how accurate this rotate thing is. You know, you'll see it goes um, an eighth of a turn or 45 degrees each time, which is pretty cool. You know, you can get a pretty accurate uh, direction with that. So we'll worry about that later when it's finished. Guys, today I want to do a lot more. I want to talk about the other things in the update and then do some raids. So clan bookmarks guys let me know what you think about this i think we should have had this forever you know if you visit other clans a lot if you got friends or even youtubers you know if you want to check my progress it makes this so much easier now you can bookmark it and you can have 30 bookmarks that's a lot that's more than you would probably ever need so that's pretty cool small change but i like it uh this next part clan war attack army preview is great Guys, have you ever gone into a clan war attack and not had your heroes? It makes you want to like pull your hair out. You get so mad. Ah! And then your clan mates get mad at you. I mean, it's so stupid when that happens. So this will prevent that from happening. If you don't have your heroes, if you don't have full spells or full army, it's going to tell you. It's going to like, I, I haven't really seen it yet, but I guess it's going to flash red and be like, yo, you don't have all your spells. Chill out. Go back. And, uh, you know, that's going to save us a lot of trouble. Again, something that should have been here the whole time. Um, and the other things are small but good items. And it's good to see, you know, an update bringing stuff that just changes the, the small things, but they matter. So, guys, we are going to raid today. And I've been talking about this. We just got the level 6 Giants. Check them out, guys. They look so awesome. And they are awesome. They have almost 1,000 hit points each. So good on the stats. So we're gonna go do some raids with those. So we now have level six barbs and level six giants. So we should be able to do some good raids, get some dark elixir, gold, etc. And we today, guys, are gonna be able to do the Archer Queen. We have enough dark elixir, and it's a pretty quick upgrade, uh, a day and a half. So we'll do that and um, probably try to do one more upgrade as well if we can. So let's go, guys. Nice. Look at this, guys. Town Hall 8 with great loot. I think it's mostly in the storages, and we've got a good army for that. So I've been waiting for this day when we can use these level 6 giants because this is where it's at, guys. You just crash into storages on bases you know you can take like this, you know, Town Hall 8. I mean, this guy has some good defenses, but generally, he's a Town Hall 8, so we should be able to take it. Well, let's do it, guys. We have some heal spells. We're going to use those. Those are great, great with giants, so let's go. Uh, let's see if we can lure this clan castle. And maybe set up some traps if there are any. Doesn't look like there are any. Check this out, guys. This dude has max wizards. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, I see a lot of people using wizards in their clan castle on defense now. Even Town Hall 8s. And, you know, it's pretty crazy. I mean, they are great on defense. So, you know, there's a lot of good clans out there, guys. Uh, I don't ever want to hear anybody say, you know, I can't get wizards in my clan castle. I recommend you use Wiz in the clan castle because they are the best for dark elixir farming. They're going to help you take down that dark elixir storage really easily because they have so much power. Guys, that's how I did it. I, I literally, um, you know, basically every time I farmed for dark elixir, I had wizards in my clan castle because my clan mates give them to me. So, you know, if I can do it, you guys can do it. You just got to convince your clan to make some whenever they can. So, uh, what else can we do here? Can we snipe any more free buildings? Not really, but we'll take some of these. And then we're going to go in from the bottom. That's where all the gold is. Probably a little bit in the mines and pumps, but we're just basically going to go from this right side. 
slightly slightly right side we're gonna check for traps here then one uh wall breaker should do it right almost <laughs> i couldn't remember if uh one one wall breaker goes through those gold ones um so let's get going we're gonna throw a few giants over here i'm not sure if there's traps over there or not and then we're gonna throw uh, oh gotta break this wall first once that wall breaks we're just gonna throw the rest in and shortly here we're gonna throw a heal spell in let's throw that heal spell down and once things start clearing out, we are going to throw in the clan castle. So let's start doing that pretty soon here. Clan castle right here, looking pretty good here. We've got to get in there though. We've got a long ways to go to get all the way into the middle there. Uh, let's drop Barb King. Looks like he's going right in the middle and Archer Queen. So this is what I'm talking about, guys. Watch these wizards. These wizards are going to crush buildings. So storages are really strong buildings. They have a lot of hit points. They're not easy to take out, but if you have wizards, maybe even your Barb King, you know, those little, um, you know, th those little uh, stat increases from the normal Barb Arch help you so much, you know, especially wizards. I mean, they're like super archers. Um, you can't go wrong with wizards. So that's basically it. We're gonna quit out with that because I don't want both my heroes to die. Looks like my Barb King took quite a few hits, but that was good gold, guys. We also got a little bit of Dark Elixir, and that was a fun raid. That's what it's all about. I'm kind of trying to get back into it. I have uh, haven't raided with Giants in a while, but this is fun. This is really fun. So let's make another army and go back out there. Oh, I think we ha already have an army. So something similar. This is what I always do, guys. About 10 or 12 Giants, some Wall Breakers, and uh, Goblin, Barb, Arch. This is where it's at, guys. Any combination of this is fine. I even have a few Wizards this time, but normally... I will just have them in my uh, clan castle. I'll request Wiz, Arch, or Minion, but most clans that I'm in will give me at least some wizards, and I would look for that, guys, if you can. So let's uh, make one more spell, fill up our um, true, <laughs> fill up our barracks. I forgot what barracks were called for a minute. Fill up our barracks, and then uh, go back into a raid. So it doesn't matter how you fill it up. I, I, I do it differently every time, but you know sometimes I just do this. So one barrack with giants, one with wallbreakers, one with arch, and one with barb, and you'll end up with a pretty good army. So let's go back in, guys. Wow. Wow. Okay, so we can get this dark elixir and probably a couple of these storages, I'm thinking. Um, I don't have much in my clan castle. I think I only have a few archers in there, but I do have a few wizards that I just uh, made in my camp, so that'll help. And guys, you know, this dude has... You know, he is a Tunnel 10, but there's no Infernos, and there is three Expos, but they're level 1. So he's really just, like, going up against a Town Hall 9. So this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. I think we can get this Dark Elixir, though, no problem. So let's go. Um, I wonder what's right there. Hopefully a Tesla and not bombs, right? You know, bombs, oh, they're, they're some of the most powerful. Uh, they're basically one of the most powerful defenses. I'm going to call them the defense in the game. I mean, really, they're a trap. You know, we know that, but... Um, Oh, they're so powerful. They can just take out anything. So there we go. It is a Tesla and it's like level one or two or three or something. So that's awesome. Let's get some wall breakers in there. Hopefully I don't hit any traps on the way. All right. We're looking good. So let's put down those wizards and uh, pretty soon we're going to throw a heal spell down. Yeah, we're looking good. So times like this, I wish I had a rage spell, but I like never bring rage spells. I it's just like heal spells. You know, they're quicker uh, and I think they're just as good, but you know, sometimes it's nice to get those troops speeding up, but that's where wizards come in, guys. So when you use a bunch of wizards, uh, their power is incredible, whether or not they're in a rage spell. So that's why I would really recommend using wiz, guys. So, wow, we got some wizards in the core there, but they are getting smashed on. Oh, no. All right, go in there, guys. Oh, no. All right, I have some goblins here, but they're not going where I want them to go. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm getting some goblins to go into the core now, but I think they're going to get smashed. So anyways, we got the elixir and we got about 100,000 gold, right? Not bad. My uh, my Archer Queen, she's so low level still, she can't do much. If she was higher level, she could have gotten in there and gotten a few storages. But that was fun, guys. That was fun. This is what I do, you know. I uh, just smash into easy bases to get the Dark Elixir. And this is what Gold League Dark Elixir farming is all about. We're going to do a video about this soon, but... You don't want to go up against the real tough guys. Just go up against bases that are, you know, like this. I mean, oh my, I forgot to take the town hall. Oh, that's so stupid. 
Uh, I don't think I'm even going to get it. I, I, and even if I do, I don't think I want to wait to get it. But we'll just quit out. <laughs> but anyways, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Easy Dark Elixir. That's what Gold League is all about. We just got 2,400 um, with a very simple army. One spell. We did use our Arch Queen, but hey, you know, she's level 3. She doesn't do that much. So, that's where it's at, guys. Use one spell. I, I don't recommend using any more than one spell because... Then you're going to use all your spells and you're not going to have any for, you know, after a few raids, you're going to have used all your spells. So try to limit it to one. And, you know, one spell can do a lot, whether it's a heal spell or a raid spell. So uh, looks like we'll do one more raid, guys. We do have an army ready. Let's see what it consists of. It's probably just, um, yeah, about 10, 10 to 12 giants, 10 to 12 uh, wall breakers and a bunch of barbs and, and archers. So let's go, guys. All right, got kind of a semi-inactive base here. Looks like he has been on lately because he's upgrading some stuff. But then again, there's a lot in these mines. So we'll pick those off and then go through the middle as well. You know, maybe get some of that Dark Elixir and have some fun too. It's always fun to smash a base. If you have an army and, you know, like right now my, my barracks are boosted. So if even if I use all my troops, I can have an army again in a few minutes. So it's not a big deal. If you are trying to farm more loot per hour and... Then you want to conserve your troops. Um, let's snipe some buildings, guys. I don't know if we can get any of these pumps for free. Oh, maybe that one. Yeah. Always do that, guys. One archer can take out that whole building. It's good. It's good. <laughs> so uh, that's going to be basically it, though. Maybe we can take this one. All right, and that's it. So now, like I was saying, we want to snipe these uh, gold mines, elixir pumps, and then we're going to crash in from probably the top up here, like where that uh, clan castle is. So we'll take this one out. Boom, 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 boom. Um, try to get that dark elixir too. Get that one. And then, you know, the ones up on the top, we're going to get those with our main push as we push into the middle. So oh, Barb King's going to be in the way here, isn't he? Ah. All right, Barb King, you know, even level two, he's a pain. He just distracts your troops so much. Ah, and they're not even shooting him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Oh, man. Okay, I, I hope we have enough troops here. Oh, no. Ah. All right, I think they're going to get him and then take out that the rest of that elixir pump. Looks good. Okay, now we can go in from the top, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Just clean up the base and then go in. So I like to spam with three fingers when I'm doing giants, two or three. And you'll see it just kind of spreads them out and, um, you know, just provides cover for all my archers behind. So I've dropped most of my, I've dropped all my barbs, but I've saved some archers. And I, that's how I like to do it. I'm going to drop the heal spell a little ahead of my army because they are about to walk into it, it looks like. Come on, buddies, get in there. As far as wall breakers, don't rush them, guys, with this army. You want to let your troops clear the way. Okay, now that they're clearing the way, I can then drop some wall breakers, and hopefully they'll go where I want them. There, that second round seems to have gone uh, into the core. Let's see how they do. Oh, okay, they did get in. Now, we're going to slowly, once uh, some of these defenses get knocked down, we're going to slowly drop the 11 archers we have left. And, you know, that's not a lot, but... It is going to help. So hopefully those Teslas don't take out all of my troops. Oh boy. Teslas are nasty, man. Whatever level they are, they're nasty. But my level 6 Giants are also pretty nasty. So they can do some serious damage. I think they're going to take that out. I think they're going to get through that wall. Oh, no. They're dying. Okay. But that's all right. We got most of what we came for here. We got the Dark Elixir. Um, there's no more easy loot, is there? Nope. Hey, we did all right, guys. We did all right. We didn't really have much for clan castle troops that time. If we had had some wizards or something, that would have made a big difference. But there we go, guys. Got the wind. Got the loot. Let's get out of here. What did we get? About 200,000 gold. A little dark elixir. I had some fun, too. So, guys, this is the army that I prefer using because it's just more of a versatile army. See, we can take those inactive bases like we just did there. Or we can go into the you know the middle of a base if we want to get the dark elixir. It's just an all-around army, and it's best if you have an army like that so you can take on whatever base you find. It's going to mean less searching for you, and it's going to mean more dark elixir for you. It's really the way to go, guys. So, you know, if you're, if you're looking for an army, uh, I would say this is it, guys. This is how I usually queue it up. Uh, I do two or, I'd say, three giants in each barrack, and then about two or three wall breakers. And, you know, then just put your mix of archers and barbs behind it. You know, maybe you want to do 10 
of each in each barracks or 10 of those and five you know what however you think you you like it so some people like more archers some people like more goblins some more barbs uh i prefer just kind of an even mix of everything so yeah let me know what you think guys we're gonna do a video about this soon strictly about dark elixir farming so stay tuned for that if you like this video leave me a like and a comment if you haven't subscribed already please do and before we go today i want to do some of these upgrades like i was saying let's do the archer queen boom boom to level four almost to the level five where we get the first ability guys and there's one more building we can do right here boom archer tower to level nine awesome almost caught up with the other ones which are all level 10 so like i was saying guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time peace